Hey guys, it's that Dexterous Game here, and today we're talking about The Crew 2. Recently I've had an open beta, and honestly, so far my thoughts about it is, it's, I like it, because it's a racing game. I'm not too fond of racing games, but it, it gives me a break from the shooting, the constant shooting games, like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto and all that. And what, what I like about it is that it sort of shares the similar aspect to, um, Burnout Paradise, as you can see here, you can see New York, Washington, New Orleans, Miami, Dallas, um, Nashville, and that's what I like about it, you, you're eligible to free run, it's not just like Gran Turismo and Forza where you can just race, you can see Las Vegas there, you can go you know, New York, Chicago, Detroit, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Sacramento, Se Seattle, etc, and this is why I love it, you have to explore the open road to get to a city to another, there's no fast traveling aspect, nothing like that, you have to ride through the Golden Gate Bridge, ride through the the Las Vegas Strip and Central Park to get to one another and as you can see I'm just riding through the Mojave Wasteland on the open road it's it has that free roam aspect that no other game really has even Burnout Paradise I'll compare this a lot better in my opinion it's just fun it's it's endless fun riding however sometimes you, you do get a bit bored sometimes you want to just get off your bike and walk and sadly you can't do that unless you actually go to your apartment in the game which isn't really a walk in the park it's more of just a walk in a 4x4 lot there's a couple of things I don't like about this game though is the graphics which I understand is going to be hard to have amazing graphics in such a huge map and I know it's only a beta however this is a beta that I was just Great on the 21st, it was released on the 21st, I think, the beta, and the game actually comes out on the 29th, so just over a week that the beta just came out before the actual game. So therefore, I don't know if the game's going to improve that much entirely, but I do know that there will be more added vehicles in the actual game itself, as in the trailer there was more bikes and cars that I actually haven't seen in the beta. And here you can see, of your scores, I'm not going to show you free roam, and I'm going to show you actual race, and you don't have to be in first person all the time. You can be in third person. I just wanted to show you a bit of the indoor, inside of the Mustang, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, if, you, if you buy this game trying to just free roam, and you're trying to avoid racing, you can't. You have to race in order to get money, and well, you, you can free roam, it's, you can do it. But if you want to free roam with the better cars and the better bikes, you want to, or the better planes, better boats, etc., you want to do races to earn money. That's the whole objective of this game. You race, earn money, have fun. Just, just as I say, work hard, play hard. You got to work hard with these races, get the money, and then you get to buy all the nice cars and bikes and boats and planes, etc. But however, you of course you don't all have to do that, you can be a cheat and actually buy the in-game money, but who wants to do that, come on. <laughs> you can see me third place, drop to eighth place, that's one thing I don't like, right, the turning. I don't know if it's just me, overall, but the turning was a huge, huge no-no for me, because I would, it would completely put me out races as you see there. Of course you don't have to do just street races, you can do off-road races, but, and you can do flying races, boat races, whatever you want really in a race dilemma. I like the fact how the street races are really street how you can just you're skidding all over the place, you're crashing into the stands and trash cans and bicycles all over the street and crashing down fences, you know, anything means necessary to win. And it's, it's an absolute necessity to just to win the race. And as you can see here, the off-road race, it, if this was a race actually against the time, it wasn't a race with other people. But as you can see, we're going flying, I'm jumping off a ramp and bumping all over the place. So overall, I just I love this game for the free roam aspect, and I do like how the racing feels like an actual street race, and how how an off road race feels like an actual off road race, like Dirt Two standards and Forza standards. I like that with a Burnout Paradise in the mix. I love that. I like how it takes actual like it takes about twenty five to thirty minutes. No, I think no, actually I, I I take that back. It took me about fifteen minutes to twenty minutes to actually get from Los Angeles to um, Las Vegas, so, yeah, I'd say, travel around the whole map, probably take hours, I'm not sure how many overall, but, yeah, anyways, before I wrap this up, I just want to say, you might as well review it for yourself, this is a free open beta right now, 
So by all means, please try it for yourself. I thought I'd give it a review because the H1Z1 was also a free beta and that done quite well as a video. And I just thought I had to do a review on it because I haven't done a video in so long. Anyways, it's been your boy Dex that Dexter's Gamer and thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye. Bloody hell! The frig is that thing? It's a buffalo! <laughs>